Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to my programming channel and today we're going to talk more about Casper, the new proof-of-stake algorithm that is going to replace the current proof-of-work algorithm on the Ethereum blockchain. So we're going to first discuss why Ethereum wants to switch from proof-of-work to proof-of-stake. Uh, we're going to discuss a very special feature of Casper that differentiates Casper from other uh, proof of work, proof of stake algorithms. And finally, we're going to discuss the long term uh, effects and the long term consequences of this switch and the future of Ethereum, guys. Let's get into it. So, why do does the Ethereum Foundation wants to go from proof of work to proof of stake? Uh, Let's begin by talking about what proof of work means. So in proof of work, in order to mine a block, in order to uh, append a block to the blockchain, miners need to spend electricity and uh, GPU cycles to solve a cryptographic uh, puzzle, guys. And so that is expensive in, uh, in terms of electricity. Uh, however, guys, however, they, got, they get rewarded by solving this puzzle puzzle and mining the block as we call it when they solve the puzzle so it's expensive to mine however you get rewarded in proof of stake you as a validator so we don't have miners anymore we have validators and so you as a validator need to put up a stake you need to take some of your funds in ether and you need to log them up uh, as your stake and when you have placed your stake, you can start validating blocks. And when you see a block that you think will, will be appended to the blockchain, when you see a block that, uh, that you believe is a correct block, you can place a bet that this block is going to be appended to the blockchain. And so if... Guys, if you do something malicious, if you try to trick the system, if you want to re try to reverse history or double spend or do anything against the network, your stake will disappear. You will lose your funds. However, if your block does get appended to the blockchain, you will gain coins. So as you can see, guys, in this situation, you as a validator don't need to spend a lot of resources on electricity and doing this whole computational, uh, spend money on computation. Uh, so uh, instead you lock up your funds and that way you guarantee the network that you're going to do your job uh, responsibly and that you're going to validate only the valid blocks and you won't try to uh, to mess with the system uh, and so this is a, a ideological shift so we it, we shift from a philosophy where we want people to prove their their skin in the game by spending electricity to uh, we want to prove that people that they have skin in the, in the game by making them lock out their funds. And when they lock up their funds, they risk losing all their funds if they uh, if they uh, do something against the network. And in a talk by Vitalik, I heard that the minimum amount of stake, the minimum amount of funds you need to lock, lock up is 1000 Ether, guys. And I'm not sure that these are the official numbers, but I will link the talk in the description when he says uh, 1000, when he mentions 1000 Ether. Because we, uh, Ethereum uh, doesn't want everyone to be a validator so only people who have a substantial amount of funds will be able to become validators lock up their fund uh, uh, for example 1000 uh, ethers or, or whatever stake they want to lock up that is sufficient enough and then they can start validating blocks and earn money so guys now we have described the two systems that are competing or the two consensus algorithms because both of them want to achieve the same thing. They want to validate blocks and they want to append blocks 
to the blockchain in such a way that everyone else is in consensus. So we have proof of work, proof of stake. And one benefit, guys, one benefit of proof of stake is that it is faster. It is faster for a validator to validate a block and bet on a block compared to a miner that has to solve this uh, cryptographic puzzle in order to append the block. And guys, as you can imagine, if this basic uh, process, process of um, uh, validating and appending blocks, if it is faster in proof of stake, the whole blockchain will become faster and more scalable. And this, this could be a solution for Ethereum to become uh, ready for worldwide adaptation and become scalable enough for the majority of the population to use it. I'm not sure if, if it is such a, an improvement, but it could be a, a great improvement. So this is a uh, reason number one why I think Ethereum wants to go from proof of work to proof of stake. And another reason is because of security. Uh, so let me explain. In Ethereum, if we, or in all blockchains, in proof of work, there is a risk that some kind of cartel or some kind of um, rich individual or organization will will acquire 51% of the hashing power. And by having 51% of the hashing power, they could really start messing with the history and they could really start replacing blocks and double spending and doing all of that. And uh, this will be solved in proof of stake by the fact, guys, by the fact that they will lose their funds if they try to mess with the system. So in proof of work, if someone, uh, someone powerful tries to fool with the system, they will not really be penalized. However, in proof of stake and with Casper, if someone tries to mess with the, with the blockchain, even if they are powerful, they will lose their funds if they are a validator and they have locked up their stake. Because other, uh, other validators will see that they are cheating and they will do this evidence transaction that tells the blockchain and the system that, okay, these guys are cheating, they are powerful, but nonetheless, they will lose their funds. And so this really makes... Uh, gives the bad guys little incentive to trick the system because they would lose all their stake and they need to have a huge stake. They need to have uh, a substantial stake in order to become powerful enough to, to have a majority in proof of stake uh, system, to have the, uh, the majority of the coins in proof of uh, stake system. And so, that is another reason. It, so proof of stake gives the attacker less incentive to, to perform the attack because it would be very, very expensive uh, as you need to lock up your stake. And if you, have, if you don't have a uh, big enough stake, you won't get any vote, voting power and you won't really affect the network. And so we have performance and scalability, and also we have security. And those are the two reason why, reasons why I think Ethereum wants to go from proof of work to proof of stake. And so the special feature of Casper that uh, differentiates Casper from other proof of stake algorithm is this feature where you as a validator will lose your funds if you do something, something malicious against the system. Uh, and it really solves a fundamental problem in proof of stake uh, uh, algorithms that uh, that is common among other proof of stake algorithms. And this problem is called nothing at stake uh, issue or problem. And that means that you, as a validator, uh, get you you get coins when you bet on a block that gets appended to the blockchain. So you as a validator, you get coins for betting on a block that gets appended to the blockchain. And so if you don't have anything to lose, if you don't lose your stake, you as a validator uh, can 
bet on several different histories. You can bet on several different blockchains. And if one of those blockchains will get uh, uh, appended or one of those blocks from this, from uh, the different blockchains get appended, you will get your coins. And so there is really no, no reason for you not to place your bets on several horses. Uh, however, in Casper and in Ethereum's uh, proof of stake algorithm, uh, you will lose your funds if you do something like this because you only you're only allowed to vote on one history and on one block. So this way, we solve this um, uh, nothing at stake problem that is common among other proof of stake algorithms. So guys, we have talked about what proof of work is, what proof of stake is, and the benefits with proof of stake and why Ethereum would want to switch to proof of stake. Okay, now let's talk about the whole debate whether proof of work or proof of stake is more democratic and fair. So one argument is that proof of work is not really fair and decentralized because a large, uh, a large percentage of the hashing power is concentrated in uh, uh, in a certain area in China, and there are a small number of individuals that own the a, a big chunk of the hashing power. So the argument is that Bitcoin is not really decentralized uh, due to the fact that it is based on proof of work, and uh, large organizations and mining pools have succeeded in acquiring large portions of the hashing power. And so therefore, we should switch from uh, proof of work to proof of stake. This could, could also be an argu argument for proof of stake, because in proof of stake, it would be harder to achieve the majority of the coins in uh, of the currency in, uh, in a blockchain. Uh, so that is one side of the argument. The other side of the argument and the other, the opposite argument is that in proof of stake, we could have a situation where a very few people uh, have the majority of the funds or very big amounts of, uh, of the funds. And when we are in such a situation, those people would be able to uh, earn all of the new coins that get produced because they have the most uh, betting betting power because they have the highest stake in in proof of stake algorithms so they as validators would would get to mine more blocks and uh, therefore get more new of the new coins so that is another side of the argument and uh, i'm really curious to hear your opinions guys what do you think do you think proof of work is more fair or proof of stake is more fair um, but one thing that, that I like with proof of stake is that you get penalized. I mean, even if I have the majority of the coins, if I do something against the network, I will lose my coins. Uh, however, there is this issue with uh, a small number of people getting all uh, large amounts of coins and uh, mining all of the blocks. Uh, so this issue is... Uh, in how I see it, this issue is in both proof of work and proof of stake. However, in proof of stake, we have this perk where where attackers would lose their funds, and thus it makes attacking the system very expensive. What do you think, guys? Leave your comments in in the comment section below. And if you are a new viewer and you like blockchain, you like Bitcoin, Ethereum, you like technology as a whole, you should definitely subscribe, guys because you will find it interesting. I myself am a software developer and I post videos every, every single day, guys. So today we talked about Casper, proof of stake, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.